Hi, this is Chris Lavin here at the uh, university uh, with Robert Maviglia, instructor hey Robert. We're uh, here today and we're going to show you guys how to do something kind of cool, fun, um, and it's a great gift to offer maybe mother for Mother's Day. Your wife will appreciate a nice gift like this, your girlfriend would. This, this is our training facility and uh, this is a great place to come and learn how to do something like this. And uh, Chris is going to take over and we're going to show you how to make some Lazy Susans. These are lazy because they're lazy. You, you don't have to worry about like moving anything. You just move the lazy Susan and it spins, right? So these make great gifts for moms, for dads, for children, uh, really for any part of the household. We're gonna show you how to do this. We purchased this at Hobby Lobby. They also sell them at Michael's, any type of craft store. You can buy this at, it's a $20 item. We have our deep pour resin right here, which you can use and you can pour that over here. Or you can take our rock hard USA material with different colored pigments. And it's pretty much all the different colors of the rainbow. Yep, we've got metallic, solids, we've got liquids and powders, just your imagination. So what colors are we using today here today? So we're gonna do a dirty pour on one of these. This is gonna be aqua metallic. We've got a silver metallic, the most popular color. And we also have copper metallic. So a nice blend, we'll do a dirty pour on this first one uh, that you see here. Cool, so I'm excited. Yep. So what have we done, what have we done here so far? I've already gone ahead and I've separated and mixed up my materials uh, in these two. And to show you what I did was I measured out the correct amount of A, the correct amount of B. At this point, we're going to start blending the two together. That's our usable chemical. And we'll mix this for approximately three minutes. And once it's thoroughly mixed, we'll go ahead and we'll create a dirty pour and we'll use a third container, or uh, actually our fourth container. So how many ounces of material is this at the... I, went in, I mixed up a, a ratio of two to one. Uh, so I did four ounces of A and two ounces of B. Uh, I have a little bit more than we need. Uh, Doherty Purge, you wanna have extra material. Uh, and for this small demo, I think we've got more than enough. Great. So you could continue stirring All on right. that one. You got that. I've got these two going here which I pre-mixed. So we stir for about three minutes, right? Correct. I'm gonna make sure everything's thoroughly mixed, all the A and B. And you know, you can have your five-year-old help you out with this or your teenager or anybody. Kind of makes it fun or even like an old guy like me. Just a nice table that's flat and level. You wanna have maybe some plastic down. Epoxy will not stick to plastic. Uh, some nitro gloves, protect yourself. Uh, there's really no odor with this epoxy, uh, but ventilation wouldn't be a bad idea. You could wear a mask if you feel comfortable with that. Um, otherwise, open a door, get some ventilation going, and you should be good. Well mixed. So they call this a dirty pour. Why is that, Robert? Well, we've taken three individual metallic colors. We're gonna combine them all into the one cup, and then we're gonna take and ribbon that cup across the top of our Lazy Susan. One, then another, then another. Or in this case, all of that one. And I'll just, now, this third container that we have, or I should apologize, this fourth container, I'm just randomly pouring these colors on top of each other. We're not gonna stir that, because that would blend everything, and we would have yet another color. But this will give us a nice little effect. And I'm gonna take care of this. You are the man. Okay, here we go. I think what we'll do, I'll take one other stick. I'm just gonna take a little, mix that up just a smidge. Let's take this and see how this comes out. I'm gonna pour right on top of this wood table here. And we're gonna have a nice blend of colors. Now you wanna put enough material on there so that we cover the whole board. Because we do not want to try and move this around too much with any kind of tools or brushes if we don't have to. We're pouring this pretty heavy so that we make sure that it covers completely. Yeah, so you want to make sure it goes over the edges like that. 
and at the end, after it's all hardened, you'll be able to sand those down. Yeah, this is a regular epoxy. It's gonna take about eight to 10 hours for this to dry. Once it's fully cured, it'll be hard, durable, easy to clean, and there we go. We could pretty much just leave that one like that. Nice touch. We'll come over here, grab my torch, give this a little blast with my torch. This will help pop some of the bubbles that are in there. The epoxy is real thick like honey, and these air bubbles get trapped, and this will help them escape, give us a better finish. There you go. It's as easy as that. Beautiful. If you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe to the videos here and hit the, uh, the button, the ring button. I added in some liquid metallic pigment. In this case, this was Violet Passion. And we have gold metallic. So we're gonna create a nice purple base and we'll put a ribbon of gold through that. So if you wanted to buy these products from us, right, you're gonna buy the kit of epoxy that sells for $185, okay? And you'll be able to produce 30 of these. Artworks. Yeah, art artworks. pieces, right? And you can sell these for $100 to $150. You can put them up on Etsy. You can go to your arts and crafts fair that's, your, that's at your local Saturday or Sunday if you want something to do. Yep, show, your, show people uh, your uh, creative side. It's fun and it's easy. You have the creative side here out of all of us, Robert. Is it this side? Yeah, Which I, side I, is I it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, it's somewhere. Mine's, my, my, mine's, mine's been quite destroyed over the course of time. Uh, I've already started mixing this up. Uh, I'm gonna switch these off for a sec, just to make sure we get everything mixed up. Mixing epoxy is really important. We're gonna mix it for approximately three minutes. Uh, you wanna make sure all the A and B get combined really well. And in this case, once we pour this out, it's gonna take about eight hours to dry. And uh, in a couple days, these will be ready to use. For this one, we're gonna pour, I think, the purple first. We'll get a base of purple down. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pour that out and I'm gonna spread it out. I'm just gonna use a foam brush to help spread this quickly. Um, so I'll pour this out. I wanna cover this whole table top with that. Get all that good stuff out of there. And we'll just bring this to the edges real quick. And in a minute, we'll add some gold highlights on there. Okay. Using this type of a brush, we minimize air bubbles. Air is not a friend to epoxy. So if we can minimize the air bubbles, that's always gonna be a big benefit. Now that I have this, make sure I get my sides covered. I'm using that Lazy Susan, because I'm lazy, Robert. Comes in handy though. Yeah. Okay, so if you see what I'm doing with this brush, I'm making all these marks. Now, in reality, this is gonna be somewhat of a design, but over eight to 10 hours, it's gonna kind of disappear and it'll soften up and blend together nicely. So I think that looks pretty good. It looks awesome. Yeah. I'll hit this with a torch. We can pop some of those bubbles that might actually be in there. So six, eight inches away, hit everything across the top there. That'll help loosen up some of those bubbles. So we're gonna go ahead with this gold. What do you think you wanna do with that? I, I don't know. I'm thinking we're gonna make like a, a little flower pattern. A flower pattern. What do you think about that? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I might let you make the flower. Let's, let's, let's start off in the middle. Start in the middle, okay, okay. You go in this direction, okay. I'm seeing a flower. I'm not sure what kind of flower. There you go. That's a sunflower. That's a sunflower. That I think I think we're gonna help this along yeah, if you don't yeah, mind. Yeah, I think yeah, let's yeah, let's yeah, let me yeah, let me yeah. take my hand in here because we can have some fun with this. And I think we'll just run it through the middle. I might have blown it up a little bit, but it'll look nice. I think we want it to kind of ribbon down those sides. And maybe we could put another little blob in the middle to make that center. And let's see how that goes. What do you think? I think it's gonna look good. We'll leave it like that, all right? Yeah, that's, the nice part is you can't mess this up, okay? It's artwork. Yeah, each one is own. It's unique, one of a kind. You'll get these same colors, but you'll never get the same end. Okay, and we could even hit that with some 
acetone. So let me get a little acetone. Always want to spray that off to the side. We don't want to be surprised. So let's get a little bit of a mist. And if you come in close, we'll be able to see how that's going to change on there. Okay. So that's going to look pretty cool. You got that marbled effect. Um, again, if I use a torch with acetone, this thing will catch fire. So let it, give it a minute to evaporate and then you can, if you want, hit it again. There you go. Boom. Some artwork, one, two, three, with some rock hard USA epoxy. And you have a choice of our regular for, floor. Or the, or the cast. Or the cast resin. So come join us at Polished Concrete University in our next epoxy training class. Shop on our XPS website, yeah. shopxps.com, or extremepolishingsystems.com, either or. And you can buy your materials there. We have many outlets throughout the United States where you can shop at. Um, so if you don't want to wait all the way from Florida, you can get from one of our local stores. Anyways, hope everybody have a great day, and we'll talk to you and see you in the near future. Thanks, guys.